Sunday morning, the day after Christmas. Uh, I drove down to a southerly more spot on the Mississippi and didn't see anyone there. So I pulled stakes out of there and headed north. So I'm up to my next spot. I see there's a few guys way, way out there. So we're going to get loaded up, get the gear, and get way out there. Um, haven't heard much about a perch bite here. I know there's nice perch here, but um, we'll see what we can find. I know there's giant gills, giant crappies, it's like anywhere on the Mississippi. You got a chance at catching a huge one of any of those species. So we're gonna get packed up and get out there. All right, we're out on the ice. I just punched five or six holes. We're gonna stuff the camera down there, see what we see. Just gotta find a spot to get set up and we'll be ready to rock. All right, well, we're just getting set up here, finally. Um, a lot of stuff to get out and get going in the morning, but um, with this early ice and as warm it was the last couple days, I did not want to come out here in the dark by myself, so I waited till first light and then everyone else straggles out. So there's a little open water in front of me about 100 yards. I couldn't quite make it to the spot that I like to fish out here, but we're gonna go call it close enough, but we're gonna sit here till probably 10 or 11. Nothing happens and we might scoot up the river a ways and check out something else, but I was cold this morning, like 15 degrees, and we got a front coming in tonight. Um, that's the exciting part to me is, even if the morning bite sucks, I'm hoping the afternoon bite's gonna be really good, but we'll find out, right? Um, don't know unless you try and I haven't heard much online or reports or anything so we did good the other week I could always run or I'm sorry Friday we did pretty good Friday up north so I could run up there also but we're gonna hunker down here and we're about four three four feet of water five feet of water uh, real weedy that's kind of dirty looking water in there I don't know if you can kind of see this but I mean we got it there's a good solid four inches of ice here yet so and there's open water 100 feet away <laughs> so you gotta be i definitely gotta be aware out here where you're going and know it a little bit but. Oh. oh man oh dude <laughs> right away nice skill right off the bat that's how we like to start it. It's gonna be a fun day. Hopefully we can get some perch rolling through here. But there are some giant gills in here, like 10 plus inches. There's another one. Oh, another nice gill. And these are perfect eater size too. They're not giant, but. So basically I fish these community holes is what I'm fishing. I mean, there's. Unless you have an airboat, there's no real secret to the Mississippi. You just gotta get out on it. Follow the crowds, and then go the complete opposite way of the crowd. Uh, there he is. Oh, 
another nice gill. Man, these are pretty gills. This one's a little small to keep, but. Look how dark these guys are. They're just beautiful fish. There he is. Oh, another little fella. They're choking it today, ladies and gents. Super pumped. This, uh, I'll let you have that waxy buddy. These prefrontal fish are so much fun on the Mississippi. Old school. Oh, I missed him. Dang it. That was a big mark, too. Came right back. Ooh, this is a nice fish. This might be a perch. No. Gill. Man, nice gill. He was really head shaking. Look at that beauty. That's what you come here fish for. Beautiful. Come on, buddy. We're gonna be pretty picky today if they're gonna bite like this. This came out of nowhere. Ooh, nice. Another nice gill. Another beauty gill. Ooh. Oh, another fat. Oh. Man, these things are just like cookie cutter, I don't know, seven and a half inches. There he is. Resist it, buddy. All day long. Ooh. <laughs> that one is way up the water column. Ooh, there's one. I had to work that one a little bit, though. Getting a little picky a little bit, though. I might switch the spikes here pretty quick. Ooh, there he is. Oh my gosh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. dude. Oh man. What a freaking Oh. Freaking ten inch or <laughs> Oh my god, what a tank. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> that was stupid. I freaking stood up. <laughs> I got <sighs> And my and my battery died. Oh man! So run playback on that scenario. <laughs> uh, that was a giant gill. That was probably a ten incher and really really close. That thing was huge. I got out of the hole, got off the hook. I was gonna stand up, stand up, and show it to the camera. <laughs> and my right hamstring just locked up. I lost a fish. Hit the side of the hole, <laughs> went right in my camera hole, and he's gone. Didn't even get to measure it. 
but no oh well. Let's try to get another one. There he is. There's another one. Oh, I can't believe I lost that fish down the hole. I didn't get to measure it. Not kidding, that was a legit 10 incher, I bet. That was way bigger than the nine and three quarter I caught the other day here. Oh well. Here it comes. Yeah, another nice skill. Yeah. That's how you do it. But it has drastically slowed down. I'll give you that much for sure. I did switch up to red spikes to littler baits and they got a little more picky. Little feller. Bunch down there right now. I get back down there. Ooh. There's a nice one finally. There he is. Another little fella. <laughs> that one just hammered it, little fella. Choked her. Oh, I missed him. Well, that's a wrap. We uh, got some nice gills. 15 gills is the limit down here in the Mississippi, so we are packing up and we are going perch hunting is what's going to happen. Well, I want to go check the spot out, see how the ice is first, but um, if it's good, we're going to go there and set some tip downs. I've had tip downs out all morning, but these perch aren't in here for some reason or aren't hungry one of the two but we uh we're gonna get wrapped up get out of here get to the other spot and we still got a whole afternoon maybe we can get on 15 perch too we'll see at the other here um, it was quite a hike down to get to my spot it was really sketchy coming from the other side so I went where everyone came in and blew past them all by ourselves to see if we can get some perch uh, it's just afternoon probably 12 30 uh, it was probably a good mile walk out here for sure but whatever let's see if we can get some perch on oh I ain't kidding you we, we haven't been here a minute and <laughs> look at that it's just a little guy we're gonna let him go but yeah we've only been here I literally that was my first drop but yeah, just a little fella send him back sweet it's gonna be a fun afternoon Tip down, going down. 
just went all the way down. All right, got tip down going down. Just trying to finish my Pringles. males too. Um, I don't think the big girls are feeding yet. Uh, we'll find out. I literally just put this one back in the hole and it's going down again. Oh, a little drag. fun I still have gotten three four five tip downs already and caught a couple two three jigging I lost one while I was eating my Pringles <laughs> I just had it sitting there dead sticking and uh, one hooked on but ah, let's get some more perch Perfect eater, right there. Man, something got a hold of his fin, look at that. Ouch, sharp little gill plates on these guys. Yeah, that's just a nice eater Mississippi perch right there. They are so pretty looking. It's bright, bright orange fins. Oh, there's another one. Well, that's got to be just a little one. Just had another tip down go. Take all the line. Feels like a pretty decent one. huge though pretty cool a white bass I caught one in here last year a huge one probably like 18 inch here last year but pretty cool dip down Down going. Ooh, 
Oh yeah, nice. Well, I got, I don't know, about an hour and 10 minutes before dark. I think I'm gonna pack up and leave. I got 12 nice perch, so I'm happy with that and a limit of gills. That'll be plenty of work to clean tonight. So we're gonna start packing up gear and make the commute home. I got an hour and 20 minutes home. We got a half hour to get off the ice, so. Well, I'm sure I could have stuck around and got my limit the last hour, but. I'm gonna get started home. There's some dude on that creek back there. Yikes. Um, yeah, things are looking froze up around here pretty good. But uh, yeah, what an awesome weekend. We'll be back at her three days pounding the Mississippi next weekend if the bite's good. See you there. Peace out.